there's a reason why I get so many frames, but I just like to try like everything. So every frame that I have is somewhat different, but today's is a little bit interesting because it's a brand I've never ridden any parts of before. So I wanted to try it. I literally was just like hunting the web for specs that I want. There's a couple frames that are pretty close. The Haro SD is super close to the specs I want, but a little tall on the standover. But this frame was literally perfect. So I'm hoping that this is the last frame I have to buy for a while, but you, you know how that is. But let me just skip right to the unboxing. And then we'll explain the whole situation when I unbox it. All right, so this is the frame that I've got, and then this is the bike that I'm putting it on. So unfortunately, the Huffy stickers are gonna be gone for a little bit. Anyways, the story behind this is I found the perfect, perfect, for now, frame dimensions. Um, and I've kind of just been searching like brands that aren't super popular brands just because I like to ride different frames and try different things out. I went on their website just for kicks and saw a frame with literally a perfect specs. So I emailed them and Robbie got back to me and basically said that they could hook me up on the price of the frame and whatever else. And then they sent in some goodies for the jam that we're doing at the end of the month. That's the story behind that. I'm gonna try this out and see if I like it. And then maybe we can do some more fun stuff with Eastern. All right, and with the frame, I went with the 27.5 top two just because that's what I've been riding for the past couple years. It's like 20.8 and smaller, so I didn't want to go with anything bigger than that. I just like the, the middle of the road. And there it is. Well, let me open it up all the ways. Also, I don't know the last time I ordered a, a black frame, like a gloss black frame. So I'm kind of excited for that. Like I rode a black frame, but a new one, it's been a long time since I had a gloss black frame. And honestly, like, I think gloss black is one of the coolest colors. Cause like, I've had black frames, but they end up looking just like flat black after a while. This is sweet. So, as you can see, it's got this cutout in the seat tube. It also has the wedge clamp for the seat, which should be somewhere in this box. It is lighter than the current frame that I'm on and actually lighter than basically all the frames I've been on recently. There's that big Eastern logo on the bottom there. Oh, it fell out. Here's the hardware for that. So I'm glad it came with all the brake stuff because I do plan on running brakes on this frame. So I brought my DK frame that has the brakes on it home so that I could install them on this. Let's see if we can cut this off without scratching the frame. And then the other super cool thing about this frame is this head tube cutout, which you probably can't see. Maybe. So. There's not a lot of companies that do a lot of cool things with the head tubes. Warning, riding this bicycle may result in injury or death. And my idea with this is to paint the fork steer tube white so it shows up through this a lot better than it, just the raw fork. That's the frame and we're gonna build it up onto this bike here. We got a seat as well. This is just their um, nylon seat. I just wanted something that had a big logo on the back of it because they helped me out. I wanna show a little bit of love. Honestly, I will probably end up going back to the Primo seat. I have been enjoying my very comfortable Primo seat, which I highly recommend, but we're gonna try this one out now. All right, so now the not so fun part, I get to take apart this frame, which I'm so sad because I really like this color and I only had it for like two weeks. So there's a good chance that that one might not stay gloss black. I might, so this one is a black base coat with this um, color shift paint over top of it. And I might do the same thing to that in the future and just like literally spray the color shift paint over top of the frame. Oh, we're gonna have to raise the seat up. Y'all remember this sticker? Should I bring this back? All right, let's get to taking this stupid thing apart. Eastern also has a rear hub that is exactly like this one. It's got the same internals and they don't have it in stock yet, but I think they're gonna help you boy out with one of those as well when they get back in stock in left-hand drive. So, only cause this one's seen better days. It's like super loose, but I've had this for like four plus years. Absolutely love it. This is the Vocal Hitchhiker Hub. Highly recommend it. 
it's got some play in it, but it's lasted me like four years and it makes a lot of horrible noises that are very scary to everybody else, but not to me because I trust it with my life. I really like when I get a new frame to like measure up the bottom brackets. So I'll put the other frame, the new frame underneath it to see. So this is actually slightly wider, which sucks because I already have very small spacers in the bottom bracket. So I might see if I can find a slimmer cone for each side because I'm gonna have like no spindle when I put this frame on. This is not a bicycle tool, okay? You never use one of these on a bicycle. What's that? It didn't even fall on the ground. Yeah, so I guess I have to find something thinner than this. Which I don't think is gonna happen, so I think we're just gonna run this again. All right, so this is my favorite way to remove a bottom bracket. Extension for the ratchet. Trusty hammer. Just a couple wax. All right, so seat post goes in. And we tighten this, which pushes the wedge to the seat post and holds it tight, hopefully. I'm scared, I'm really scared that this isn't gonna work. And don't worry, I, I will grease where the bottom bracket goes in. I don't care to grease the actual bearing, but I'll grease where the metal contacts the metal. Can't fucking do that. Clearly, I can't either. Sorry for those of you that I'm making cringe right now. I know there's a handful of you that absolutely hate seeing a hammer anywhere near a bike, but Quite lovely. What size is this? Is it? Oh, is that a thinner one? No way, and it's plastic. I may have actually found a thinner one. I did. I found a thinner one. It's like it's like not even there. It's, it's plastic too. This one's the same. It's silver. All right. So now I gotta smack this thing all the way back out and try something different. Oh wait, but this is a 19. So that's actually not gonna work. But this one. Is it 22, yeah? And it, it's actually the same, I think. I don't think it's any thinner. I think the only solution in this situation would be to run just a spacer instead of an actual like washer or uh, instead of an actual dust cover. See, and I have two that I could put on there and probably call it good. So we'll still check, we'll, we'll still see. That's the space I have between the sprocket. Come on. It's hard to tell. That's the space I have though. So, let's snug these boys down. Also, don't know if I'm gonna keep these alienation pedals. Cause these things are deadly. Like, yeah, metal pins in general are deadly, but these have so much grip. If you're looking for a pedal that grips, these grip. This would be great for like a mountain bike pedal. I think I'm gonna take some pins out, kick whips, and I just, they don't let go of my foot. Let's see, I think the silver chain will look 
pimp it on here. With that chain there, brings us like centered in the dropout, which is exactly what I want. Because that's going to put me at as close to 13.5. That's perfect. Almost there. Home stretch. Stem on top. Perfect. Check that out. I think that looks sweet. All right, so I'm going to tighten everything up. Put the rest of the brake stuff on. I, I still have to figure out what I want to do. I'm either going to run the 2 to 1 Odyssey setup or I have the M2 lever where I can run the dual cable to the gyro and then run two separate cables to the back. I still And I might have a London mod. I have to dig through all my stuff. I'll show you what I end up coming up with after because I also have like the brake noodles that I can use. All right, so after a ton of time, a couple hours, figuring out how I want to do the brakes, trying out some different things. I think I have them where I want them so far, we'll see. They feel a little bit, the pull's a little hard, so I might have to adjust the actual springs on the brakes, but other than that, they feel great. The M2 with the dual cables. Then I'm running the noodle with two separate cables to the London mod. These are actually gear cables and they go separate Cable straight to a NARP inside the actual brake calipers. Clear pads, of course. That's the bike. New seat on there. Let me get a good close-up of that. We'll get some better shots for you as well, but I think it looks sick. It's been a while since I had an all-black bike. So this is this is really what I wanted to do. Let me just knock all my tools over. This is what I've wanted to do for a while. I'm finally doing it. Oh, with the silver chain as well. I think that was a nice touch. Front end is 75, 71, pretty standard. My top tube is 20.75, but it comes in a couple different ones. Back end is 13.25 slam, but 13.5 optimized. It's got an 8.7 standover uh, and then an 11.5 bottom bracket, which is ideal for me. It's really low and stable, so for like park riding, it's perfect. But real quick, I have a tape measure here. So let me see if I can get as close to an accurate measurement as possible. Bear with me. So center to center is basically like 13.5 even. So it's, it's literally perfect. So anyways, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Eastern Bikes for hooking me up with this frame. Super stoked, same with the seat. Yeah, I'll probably throw some other decals on, but we'll worry about that later. I feel like there's a lot of fun stuff to come in the future on this channel and just ready to do a lot more fun stuff with, with bikes in general, whether it's the BMX or the dirt jumper or the mountain bike. I'm just ready to do more stuff. I'm tired, horribly tired. Sorry, go follow me on Instagram, Eastern Bikes on Instagram. All the, the links for all that will be in the description below. So, uh, like this video if you want more content like this. Comment any other suggestions and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much. We will see you later. Also, almost forgot to mention, if you want the weight of this bike here, um, I'm gonna weigh it after I put the front brakes on, because that'd be more fair, because if I decide to keep the front brakes. So, there's gonna be a video called, like, I put on front brakes. That's where the weight will be. I'll be weighing it in that video. So if you wanna see the weight of this bike, go to that video, watch that video, go check that out. Cool.